up until, I don't know, two years ago, a year ago, no, it's been like six months, yeah, been about six months, that empty lot over there was Mission Beach School, however, the building was Mission Beach School. Mission Beach School had probably been without students since 1980. 1980. <laughs> so finally, the school district sold it, which was stupid. Uh, the school district um, representative from this area told them no. And they were like, yeah, we're going to sell it and pay for teachers, like a hundred of them, for half a year. So they sold it way under what they should have. And if they would have kept it, they could have built their own stuff on it and rented it. But they probably don't want to do that because, you know, they're a school. Or they could have kept it and had a magnet school or a charter school that was all about marine biology. That would have been smart. I went to one meeting about it, and I think it was two, probably two, and what happened was I told them, look, don't sell it, and if you do, there's a way you can get it to another governmental agency without having them have to pay a whole bunch of money, and instead, they ended up wanting to go to the mayor and do all kinds of like talking at people politics which worked not at all and I told them hey do a kickstarter and maybe you can do it and they wouldn't listen to that because they're old and they're also rich most people who actually own places here because they bought one of those houses or one of those places probably sometime in the 70s and now it's worth like, see, that was probably for $7,000, a hundred times more than it was in the 70s, at least. Maybe getting up to 150, maybe 200 times more. And they're all cheap. And there's also two giant parks for dog walking. They want a dog park. Two giant parks for dog walking. One's called the sand on the bay and the other one's called the sand on the beach which you know you can go up till 6 a.m. and after 6 p.m. after 4 p.m. in the winter they didn't want to hear that 